Hello everybody and welcome. Here am I out here in the in the outside part of my studio and um, what I'm actually doing is I've got here a load of goblets okay which I need to dust off. Well we've actually dusted off most of them. Incidentally when it comes to glazing um, it's, it's always a good idea obviously to dust off your ware before you glaze it um, but not only dust it off um, sometimes you'll find little bits of clay and stuff that you need to just scrape off with a knife so it's always always a good practice to do that just just go over go over them visually and if you can see that to see that they are clean you know and then if you've got a, a brush or something I, I give them a, a dusting and a blow them out all right I'm just gonna move the camera a little bit down there just to show you those what I'm doing down there there they are though you can see the goblets there and I just wanted to say let's try to keep your um, boards where you're working here keep them nice and clean as you work okay always a good discipline a good practice there. so I, I just uh, I've got these few more here to do and I'm, I'm the way I'm the way I'm dipping them is I'm dipping them pouring into the inside swilling round, pouring out and then just pouring sorry dipping down so far into the glazed bucket that gives me then uh, the unglazed part here and just the glazed part over the rim there where you put it to your mouth with our clay body fortunately we have in the reduction it comes out quite a nice toasty colour so it's, it's, it's attractive to leave the, the, the clay in its natural state. Okay, so, right. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to incline the camera down here into the glazed bucket so you can see what I'm about. There's the... There we are, there's the glazed bucket. Right. pull back a bit right now remember with your glaze give it a good stir when I used to work at the pottery at, um, at lower down pottery in Devon England it was always freezing cold in the winter and our buckets were quite a lot deeper than these and my father used to say to me Simon now stick down your hand right down into the very bottom and get the cl get the glaze out of the corners. <laughs> Let's just stick down my hand and get the cl the glaze that was sort of coagulated and sedimented out right and down in the corners there, and and um, get get it mixed up. Well, I don't like to do that these days. I, I use a stick. You've got a stick like that. You can put it down right down into the corner there, and you'll find. You see what comes up. If you get a square stick, you'll find you see that the corner, well, if you're using a whisk, like I'm using, this is actually a, um, a caterer's whisk, which you can buy in a catering supply place. It's stainless steel. and. It's really great for mixing up the, the glaze. And it's also good to keep your glaze on the move, all right? Don't leave it if you're doing a lot of glazing. I sort of, every five minutes I give it a, give it a stir, you see, like that. Right, okay, so I've got a jug here and I'm working with a saucer. All right, keep the table clean. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to pour in like that. All right now, wind it up like that. Wind your wrist up like that. See, and then unwind your wrist. You see, like that. Now, just down. Come sun. I try and get it as as straight as I can. Now sometimes I have to clean it off a little bit if I don't quite get it as straight as I want. Usually the first one or two I do, I don't get them quite level and then I get wind up, pour out, and then down. Okay. All right, that's number two. Just gonna do a few here, just to okay. wind up, wind up your wrist, you see, wind it up. Pour it out. Dip down. That's getting better now, you see. It's practice. It's practice, practice, practice. The first one may not may not come out the best always. The second one hopefully will be a little bit better. And the third one even better. By the time you've done the tenth one, well. Winding up my wrist, you see? Winding it up unwinding it, pouring it out. It's the little tricks, isn't it? That it's, the, it's the little tricks that you learn by, by practicing and by repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating, doing it over and over and over and over again. That's what, wind it up, pour it out. That's what makes the whole process that much more proficient, um, quick. Let's do one more while we're here. Oops. Pour in, all right, winding up my wrist, wind it up and unwind it and pour out. And dip in, okay, there it is. Now, you see, I've done half a dozen of those. Now I'd probably say, right, let's just give it a few stirs. Well, a few insights there maybe, folks. Swing the camera back up. Simon Leach here saying, keep practicing. That's the secret. See you in the next clip. Take care now.